Welcome to episode one of Bunnies and Bondage. Are you okay, hun? Guess the sound. Guess the sound. <laughs> the vibrator. Doug into my vagina. Not Thanks again. Cheers, babe. Cheers. Welcome to our brand new show, Bunnies and Bondage, Woo-hoo. and everything in between. And today's episode, we're talking about masturbation because it is Masturbation May, and we have got the gorgeous Poppy Hi. here with us today. Poppy, who are you to Anne Summers? So I've worked with Anne Summers for two years now, and I am the full of Bust model. <laughs> We've seen you all <laughs> over the campaigns Thank looking you. unreal. And we had to get you on today to talk about masturbation because on a scale of one to ten, Pops, yeah. how open would you say you are? Probably too open. Ten? <laughs> but yeah, ten, definitely a ten. Ten out of ten open. So we're going to have an amazing chat. Yeah. Lots of games. Okay. Get ready. I'm ready. <laughs> So we're going to play Never Have I Ever. Okay, let's Poppy, go. Poppy, are you ready? I always play this for my free drink game. I oh, really? I feel like I know everything about my friends now, so it'll be interesting. So we're going to get to know you a little bit with this one. I'm scared. Okay. <laughs> Never Have I Ever. <laughs> what? Masturbated at work. No, never. I actually haven't. Because okay, you Have do I? work no, with no, Man no. Summers. No, so. no, 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 no. Questions no. will be asked. <laughs> Um, <laughs> never have I ever used my sex toy in a public place. I actually don't think I have, no. Yeah, like, when would you? Like, you're not going to use it on a public toilet, are you? Because that's no. disgusting. Or, like, on a plane. Like, in what... Su- no, well, that's a bit of a random one, isn't it? Some people might do, though. <laughs> yeah, but know. people have, though, definitely. 100%. Oh. <laughs> never have I ever masturbated on a washing machine. No. <laughs> I don't. I'd probably break the washing <laughs> machine. <laughs> No, why? <laughs> <gasps> what? <laughs> Never have I ever slept with a friend's brother or sister. I've slept with my cousin's best friend. I actually lost my virginity to him. All these Did your cousin know? I think so. <laughs> They do now. So. Oh my god. Oh my god, actually. You know what's going to be done now? Oh, yeah. Oh, really? First Fuck time. It, yeah. Was that okay? Yeah, it was actually quite well, it was quite funny. And my mum knew as soon as I got home. She just knew. Really? Yeah. Just had like, it written all over your face. Yeah, literally. Yeah. <laughs> So I can't believe we'd actually never met never before. Met. I but feel I feel like I know you. This is the same here. I, f- I feel like I know you because yeah. I've seen your face everywhere. Same with you. Over all the Ann Summers campaigns. I know, I still can't believe I it. I know. So tell us about like how how did you get involved with Ann Summers? Where did you start? So I only recently got into modeling like two years ago. Oh, um, really? My twin was always the model. Really? Yeah. I went to Dubai and like a picture like went viral on the internet and and Summers, because it was like me next to my sister and I'm a size like 14, 16 and yeah. she's like a size eight. Amazing. And then I believe that Anne Summers saw that picture and asked us to do like a paid collab. But like I'd never done that before. So I was like, oh my God. Really? Like, but like it wasn't to model. And then I believe that someone saw that and then asked me to do the Halloween campaign. Oh my God. I know. So and like, it's crazy. It's mad. So did you, did you ever want to model like seeing your twin do it? Did you ever feel like, oh, I'd love to give it a go? It was so weird. Cause it was like, everything happens for a reason, but I never wanted to model before I kind of got asked. Yeah. And then once I got asked, I thought, well, I'm quite confident, like I love the way that I look and I feel like Anne Summers was just like a perfect fit because it's so empowering, it makes you feel super sexy and I do feel like from working with them like I've just like evolved into like a better woman. Yeah, I know, it's so crazy to say that but I feel like I feel a lot more positive about myself, like you just appreciate your body a lot more and like you can be sexy any size. One yeah, million percent. Definitely. That's what it's all about. So it had is. you shopped with Anne Summers, like lingerie, toys before? Yes. And then it moved into like, you are now a face of the brand. Literally like every Halloween, it was Anne Summers. 100%. And then I was in the campaign, I was like, this is actually mental. Yeah. Like it was crazy, but yeah. it is, I'm so lucky to work with such an amazing so team. So tell us about the campaign. What, what did you do for it? Which one? <laughs> Which one? Which one? <laughs> All of them. What's been your favourite, in fact? Oh my God, I don't know if I can make a favourite. <laughs> Obviously, going to South Africa was, like, unbelievable. The fact that I've been twice is just... Yeah. I have to finish myself. Um, I think 
The first one was very special because it was the first ever campaign I ever did. Uh, and I literally was like, so, I look back and I always say it to the girls, I'm like, I was so stiff. Really? Well, I felt like I was so stiff to now. I feel like I'm a lot more like in touch with my body and I yes. know what looks good and yeah. how to feel a bit more sexier. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I know the first one I'd look back and I'm like, you look stiff. <laughs> no! Oh my gosh, I bet you looked amazing. Yeah, no, so what, but it was amazing. So what else has like the journey sort of like brought out within you, would you say? I feel like meeting girls all different shapes and sizes and just like really appreciating like whether you're small or you're a little bit bigger or you're curvier or you've got fake boobs or you've not got fake boobs or like you've had plastic surgery, you haven't like yeah. just to appreciate your body. And um, I feel like it just, and summers are so inclusive to everything. Yeah. So it really just makes you see like all different types of women, which I yeah. think is so beautiful to see. 100%. And it just makes you appreciate yourself as well. Yeah, definitely. That's what I found working with Anne Summers. Yeah. Like I'd always, cause I'm like straight up and down. Mm -hmm. So like growing up, I'd always be like, oh, I wish I had bigger boobs. I wish I had this, I wish I had that. Mm -hmm. And then with like social media, wow. you compare yourself to others all the time. Really but do. Anne Summers is like, no. You appreciate what you've got. You look amazing. She looks amazing. She looks amazing. Yeah, and just work exactly. it and own it. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? It is. It really is. And I feel like they do such a good job of being inclusive to all different shapes and sizes. Yeah. That all the, I feel like a lot of people always say that to me as well. Like, I love that there's, like, a girl bigger than you or a petite girl in yeah. the shot or someone with a disability yeah. because it just shows that everything goes yeah. and everything is super sexy. A million percent. Yeah. So yeah. that's why I just love working with them so yeah. much. And do you feel like from, like, a sexual empowerment perspective, like... How is that? Because you seem like pretty open and you're yeah. pretty like, yeah, I'll just shut. So you're like the perfect ambassador for Anne Summers. I feel like I've got, what's the word? Like where you don't shut up. Am I to swear on this, by the way? Yeah. I don't shut the fuck up. <laughs> like literally, like I, I just like, I've got word vomit. That's what I was looking for. Like yeah. I just have word vomit. So whatever comes to my mind, I literally no just filter. say it. No filter. Yeah. And I'm just unapologetically myself. And that goes with being sexual as well. I don't, yeah. I feel like there's a lot of like, might as well make it today. No, it's What's not it right. called and like your yeah, a stereotype of women of what women should be? Yeah. Like, I feel like if you wanna be sexual, be sexual. So how did you get involved with Anderson? I was like, how long have you been working with them for? Yeah, mine was quite um quite random actually. I've been working with them for like a, a couple of years now. Mm -hmm. Um, but I started doing presenting for a live shopping channel. Before that, I was like, I was training to be a lawyer. So oh my was, God, no Yeah, way. I was like legally blonde, like going down that path. I've always loved Anne Summers, but I was always quite like, obviously a bit shy about it. Really? But no, you, I wasn't really like, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, then I started doing um, presenting for a live shopping channel called Ooh. Oh yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. Anne Summers were on there. So we started doing shows and it just got me back into like the whole, just open and summer's up vibe, yeah. And I was like, I haven't bought a matching set of underwear for years. Like, I think life can get so busy, and sometimes yeah. like just like self care and self love goes out the window. So then I was like, right, <laughs> now we're starting Let's to go. get involved again, <laughs> yeah. And then from that, um, started working um, directly with Anne Summers, Amazing. doing all sorts, and just like just chatting about sex. Yeah, like literally. even do you chat about sex with your friends? Oh my god, all the time. See, that's great. See, yeah. me and my girls, we we do, but I feel like I don't know. The older we got, we're a bit more. <gasps> and now they're like, babe, um, what toy would you recommend <laughs> for this? Or like, I've just met someone. Like, what couples things? So they get all the tips and stuff, so it's great. I love that. Yeah. Okay, so now's the part that always scares us. Yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> Our gorgeous fan summers community sending questions that we've never seen before. Yeah. So we're just gonna have a little uh, <laughs> I nice. little chat through these. Be nice, okay. Um, right, so Papa, you can go first since you're our gorgeous guest. Okay. Um Sarah Snowden has sent in a question. Um they say, firstly, Poppy, you're absolutely stunning. Oh, thank you. Honestly, your skin, can I just say? It doesn't look real. Looks like she's got a filter on. It's not fair. It's skin food. Okay, I need to the get on that. Yeah. I swear by it. <laughs> need to get on that. You heard it here. <laughs> um, right, secondly, orgasms. Okay. I found that my partner can make me orgasm without even touching my intimate areas. God damn. How 
magic yeah (laughs) I've never had it happen with anyone else it's like full body orgasms is this something you've experienced Sarah is one lucky customer never oh my (laughs) god I wish someone could touch me and I could without even touching my intimate areas like like kissing like in sexual yeah. places that would or do they is? just look at you and you're like oh my god maybe they're just really sexy like have you ever had that with someone where you're like so attracted to them that yeah but like i've never like orgasm from no. them staring at me i mean i kind of wish i could but like that is literally a superpower <laughs> sarah we want to yeah more, you're very please, lucky hun. teach me <laughs> okay let's do <laughs> <laughs> Question. Oh God, this makes my palms are sweaty. I know, same. I feel like we I'm getting hot. Need a little drink. Yeah, have a little drink first. Okay, so this is a question for you. Is it strange that I have to start the day with an orgasm, whether with toys or with my hubby? Feel like I have no energy until I do it, and that's from getting sexy in the sun. I absolutely love that. Yeah, because kind of love that. As well. I'm a massive believer in like start the day right. Some <laughs> people meditate, some people masturbate. You know, if you need to start the day on a high, absolutely go for it. I but mean, I normally go for coffee, but that yeah. works too. Were they kind of saying like, is it a problem? Is like, it strange? I, I That's what she's oh, saying. I don't yeah. think it's strange, not at all. For like every day. That's intense, that. It is a lot. My not thing, that it's a bad thing, but no, like that's... My thing's like, what would happen if you couldn't? Like, yeah. what would you then be like? Would it set the day off wrong or... But I'm all mm. for positive energy to start the day. I mean, if that's what gets you Although going. the other half's probably like, Jesus. Knackers. I really enjoy that. Start I mean, the day right, babe. Whatever it works yeah. for you, works for you. In fact, morning sex, are you into it? Yeah, but I feel like sometimes I need to go and brush my teeth. Yeah. Like, don't touch me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Or, like, if you just do it from the back, that's fine. Yeah. Because I don't want to, like, breathe or you just breathe don't on me. me. Yeah. I know what you mean. Especially if you've just, <laughs> if you've just met someone, yeah, and you want to make it look like just wake I up look like this. scary in the morning Yeah, as and well. me, like a gremlin. Do you have to do the whole, like, go to the bathroom? Oh, no, sneaky, I'm really... brush your teeth, you just don't care. No, I'm not bothered. I'm like... I actually don't care. Should I put on a bit of lip balm? I feel like that's like... why I've not got a man, though. <laughs> no! <laughs> because I just don't care. Oh, no. I was, like, so chilled about it. I'm like, yeah, I love that. We love that. <laughs> so this question is from Maxi B. Okay. Oh, I love this question. Okay. In your opinion, it's a little bit more uh, serious, this one. Okay. How do we break down the taboos around self-pleasure? Where do we start educating people that it is normal and nothing to be ashamed of? I feel like it's important to talk about it with friends. I feel like I've got quite an open friendship group, Mm -hmm. so we will talk about them things. But just experiment as well. I feel like it's your body. Yeah. You should know it. Yeah. Just so that someone else can as well. Yeah. Oh my God, a hundred. Do you know what I mean? Like, and I feel like people really need to be a lot more open with what they like. Because I hate it when you get with someone and like you're afraid to tell them what like I just tell them. Yeah. Cause I feel like how are you supposed to know what I like? You're not gonna know. Yeah. And yeah, vice yeah. versa, I need to know for you as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's I feel so like it's important. Hundred percent. And I feel like again, like before I started working with Anne Summers, like now I'm like in and out the store like with friends and stuff. Just yeah. make it a normal thing like I take my nan in. Yeah. She's ninety four. Take your nan in. Yeah. Have fun with it. And again like it's I think some couples even like won't speak about it because definitely it's like awkward and just it's still an awkward thing isn't it i it's do like, think there is like a taboo about it like i don't know why and even like when like i start dating a guy i will ask them like certain sexual questions just to see what they're about yeah yeah, yeah and yeah. i feel like if they're a bit more on the reserved and i'm like mm, mm. you need to be a little bit more freer and also me and my guys were talking about this the other day actually you don't you don't get taught really about masturbation no at school or mm-hmm. even like good sex it's just like here is what you do and that's it yeah don't speak about it some like girls like won't even speak about it with their girls and stuff and it's like I kind of learned early on what I wanted and what I didn't yeah and then all my friends were quite similar as well so I feel like we all just talked about it from an early age, but I can't really imagine it not being that way. Like, I do feel sorry for some people who feel like they can't express, like, maybe if they're going through something in regards to, like, sexually. Um, 
But yeah, I feel like you just need to educate yourself and even just ask the question to one of your friends if you feel like you need to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say like, what do you do? What do you use yeah. maybe? Or I like will buy my friends like as little stocking fillers. Like, <gasps> oh my God. And they're like, you have changed my life. I because did that. Never, yeah. I do that on a, what do we do? We do like a Christmas party and then pass the parcel. Like, please. <laughs> but they're probably the like present. the best presents ever everyone's like yeah that's their favorite present i feel like it's just yeah just be open about it yeah. it's nothing to be ashamed of but like, i love when i'm walking in town and i see couples with like the and summer's bags yeah I'm like, you're like yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but also from like a, exactly like you said from like a confidence perspective mm -hmm. if you don't get to know your own body yep. and if you're not confident with your own body then that's potentially going to translate like with your partner if, and yeah. you might not feel you know confident and comfortable around them and Definitely. you want to be like look i'm here and feeling great don't you so. i even think like even the most confident people can sometimes feel like a bit like oh this is a lot but i just feel like if you're comfortable enough to like lay down with someone then you should just be able to just <laughs> let it all hang out yeah. <laughs> <laughs> basically you just have to just kind of just like be like Do you know what it is what it is Let's just enjoy ourselves. Lauren says, hi, I love the vibrators from Ann Summers, but would, like <laughs> <laughs> but would like to know um, which one you think's the best. I mean, I just love the clip sucker. I can't <laughs> actually talk about it enough. Like, What do you love about it? Just, what is the not to love? It's like, it's just amazing. For, for I those literally that don't know, yeah. talk us through it. Okay, bit. so, from my understanding, it's just like a sucking <laughs> sensation on your clip. A what, babe? Like a. <laughs> I can't think of what it's called. What's this? It's like, like a sucking motion. How do I describe it? Yeah, like that. Yeah. Like that. It's like uh, air. Like it's way more suck. sexy than that. I know, I've really not sold it. <laughs> But basically, it just goes on. It does its little thing and it does the job, right? Yeah, it like... <laughs> Sorry, I've got the giggles. Oh my God, what's the motion called? S suck. Like a sucky motion. Suck it. You place it on your clit, it like sucks, it goes in different speeds, and sensations, and it's just amazing. <laughs> I really wish we had one because now it's, oh, it sounds so. like a, a hoover. It's like, like a, a hoover. <laughs> I can't do it. Does it. Is it literally just that or is there any other bits to it? Yeah, but it's one? just got different speeds and different settings. Um, I've got the Lily Allen one that they sell oh, yeah, from yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's just, it's great. And I feel like it's just quick as well. I like things to be quick. She likes it quick. So I'm busy, yeah. <laughs> I feel like though there's like loads to choose from. Like yeah. we've got, oh, I think you've got like a rabbit as well. It's just. Do you know what? I actually don't have a rabbit. Puppy. I know. Is that really bad? Girl, girl you get. Oh, check you up, babe. I actually don't have a rabbit. You need to because they're just super cute as well. No, very cute. These are really good. What yeah. color would you go for? There's very. There's many colors. Black. <laughs> So, oh what's your favourite toy, Vicky? <laughs> Got the giggles here, sorry guys. Um, I mean, I do love the rabbits. I think they're super, super cute. However, you can't go wrong with a bullet. I just think. Yeah. They're perfect. And again, for like they're gifts. Perfect. Well. They're perfect. And for like gifts and stuff as well. Like these are super cute. And I super affordable as well. Yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly that. Mm -hmm. And I'm like you, like just want something to get the job done. Yeah. Really. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, I have a question. Okay. Let me read this one out. I literally had giggles God, these, and I'm so sorry. This literally makes me so nervous. <laughs> okay, so this is the last one anyway, okay. so it's fine. Okay, so if you were able to have your own Anne Summers toy made, oh, this is a good question. What type of toy would it be? And that's from Rose 2002. Rose, I love that question. Ooh. My own one made. It's actually quite like a deep question. Like what would you get made? A very deep question. <laughs> um, see, I'm like quite easily pleased though. So I honestly just feel like, I, lo I just love the rabbits. Yeah. But maybe in just like a cute color, like a rainbow pastel color. I just feel like oh, they already like do a everything. Oh, 14 inch or something. <laughs> Just a giant. Just a giant. No, because the, no, because you know when you go in Anne Summers and some yeah. of the big ones, I'm like, Jesus, they really scare me. 
They're monsters. They're huge. I'm scared. No, I do know. Bring I do know me. what you mean, though. Like yeah. some of them are like. E. <laughs> but are you like living at large? <laughs> the bigger the better. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to give you a little test. We're going to play oh, a game. Gosh. We play it in every episode, and there is a leaderboard. <gasps> oh, no, don't. So, I don't to. yeah, well, you, this is your chance to get top spot. But don't worry, because you're the first one to play, so you're going to be top. For now. For now. Okay. But I feel like you're going to be good at this. Okay? <laughs> what makes you say that? I'm going to give you... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you 30 seconds mm. to name as many sex positions as possible so even like sometimes though like if i name them yeah what about if i like describe them does well, that count yeah if if you can't think of a name if you can't put your finger on it just just say whatever comes to mind okay and we'll see if we'll let you, let you have it okay we'll yeah right are you ready i'm gonna count you down 30 seconds okay three two one go missionary yeah doggy yeah reverse cowgirl yeah Spoon, yeah. Um, like lead on your front, like, like lead, lead down, like lead, flat, flat. On your, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, fuck. What's the opposite of cow? Reverse cowgirl. Reverse cowgirl, cowgirl. Yeah. Um, oh my, oh my god, my mind's gone blind. What's the bird? Eagle. Yeah. Seven. <gasps> Absolutely nailed it. No, that wasn't good. No. Do you reckon? Thing is, though, you don't really use the names nowadays, do you? It's getting spread eagle. Babe. You just get flipped and dipped, <laughs> yeah. and I don't know. Like, don't, you don't really think Dodge, of the name, do you? When you, get in, like, you just do it. What was the wraps. one that you were talking about? Like when you led flat, just on, laying on, on, your, on belly. your belly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what's what is that, that called? called? Asleep. <laughs> 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 That's when you can't be eyes shut, Glam. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So yeah, seven. Okay. They're currently top of the leaderboard. It's a lucky number, so. And um, we did find you a little uh, a little something. Because obviously you don't have much time on your hands. <laughs> My well, <favorite> yay! <laughs> okay, so let the, me... S- the sucker. I'm going to see if you can, can you hear that. It's like purring. <laughs> That's the sound that... We should turn this into a game, and Summers. It should be like... Guess the sound. Guess the sound. <laughs> the vibrator. <laughs> Clit sucker. Yeah. <sighs> oh, I just burned again. <laughs> so, yeah. So but that's... also, how cute is that, though? I love that. This is so cute. It just looks like a little... And no one would know what Ooh, it is. It just keeps... I need to turn this off. It keeps um... <laughs> I need to get you a rabbit as well. Yes, 100%. I need one. I definitely do. So I'm excited for this. Okay. We've had some people like call it, well, send voice notes okay. in with some stories that we can just have a little listen to. Okay. Hi girls, got a bit of a funny one for you. So my 19th birthday, I woke up really early and I thought I'd have some fun with my favourite toy. My mum then burst through the door and I moved my hands as quick as I could, but I realised the toy was still inside me. I'm hoping she didn't realise, but has this ever happened to you? Okay. I mean, she... Oh no, has that ever happened to you? No. <laughs> I think I've been traumatized. <laughs> Mum will probably just start laughing though. Like she's quite chilled. Have has anyone ever found anything? Yes, my niece yeah. when I was moving house. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I've my friend her her grandma used to like pop in and just like clean the house every now and again. And she'd come home and she puts her vibrator like beside her bed. Oh no. And she came back from work and was like, I swear I didn't make my bed this morning. And then her mum was like, oh, grandma's been in and like tidied. (laughs) Her bed was made and the vibrator was like placed carefully on her pillow. So her grandma had come in and made her bed. Oh, and put it on the pillow. Found it, tucked in. (laughs) Oh no, my friend said that that's happened to her when she's been on holiday and like the maid had made the bed and then like put it on the pillow. That must be a thing. Oh dear. I mean, it's just one of those things, isn't it? That is, um, but no, not like during like, not you'd during. be scar- You'd have to move out. 
I don't know. My mum's my mum probably just she laugh. Chill. Yeah, black gold. Oh, she's like, oh god, <laughs> right. Oh, god. Not again. <laughs> she can hear it. <laughs> She's going again. Right, we've got another one. I love these. Keep them coming. Hi, Poppy and Vicky. Um, so, I was masturbating under the sheets once and I didn't realise that my cat was in the room. Um, I was watching porn, not paying attention at all, and then suddenly I feel claws being dug into my vagina. I think he thought I was playing a game because he kept bouncing around um, and I just couldn't masturbate for a week after that. So, uh, note to self, don't have your animals in the bedroom. <laughs> Right, what does she mean by she that. couldn't masturbate for a week? Like, is in like she was traumatized? Claws being dug into my vagina. Was she traumatized or like did she get injured? I need to know. Are what. you okay, hun? What? Hang on a minute. Let me just replay that. At all until suddenly I feel claws being dug into my vagina. I think he thought I was playing a game because he kept bouncing. <laughs> Little pussy. <laughs> Literally. <gasps> um. I tell you what, though, <laughs> pets can ruin your sex life when they're just there. If they sleep in the room, yeah, oh, yeah, it's they're it's watching li- like a little literally, cork. literally that. Um, are you okay, hun? <laughs> like, oh. um, yeah, maybe I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm, I'm scarred. I'm a bit. She's s- literally scarred. Literally, <laughs> I'm a bit speechless on that one. I I don't really know what to <laughs> suggest or say. I hope you're okay. I got hope it was a speedy recovery. Let's know. <laughs> Pops. Yeah. You've been unreal. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Have you. The I've... sucky noises. <sighs> I've absolutely loved today. Honestly. We hope you've absolutely loved this too. Make sure you stay tuned for our next episode. And in fact, let us know in the comments. Mm-hmm. What's your favourite part, Bim? What's your favourite part, Bim? me making a fool of myself <laughs> no i feel like it's been really good just to have a chat just to be open like yeah. you said it's masturbation may yeah, so yeah, yeah let's just break the stigma and talk about masturbation exactly love it we will see you for the next episode of bunnies and bondage and everything in between bye, bye. bye.